day from the moment we wake up, we put everything into this game. So last season hurt. But I think I learned that struggle is an investment. You invest in pain, and as hard as it is, as much as it tears you apart, you get perseverance in return. And I think I learned that sometimes that's just like... Austin's been my only team. Now I'm coming into my fourth year. Danny Pereira, the number one overall pick. I'm not a young guy anymore. I think I have to level up my game as a player and as a person. You're not always gonna win. You're gonna have tough moments like we did, and it was exhausting. It was tough for me, uh, especially mentally. Like, it killed me. Might have been the last shot for Austin. I think we all learned from, from last year. They say you, you play how you train. In our trainings, we're kind of trying to implement what kind of team we want to be. And uh, I think that's going to show in the game. Five coaches and players being greeted by sub freezing temperatures in Austin to start this preseason. Things are about to heat up in a hurry. And we are incredibly just a month away <laughs> All right, guys, good morning, good morning. The idea is good energy, good tempo. When we're out there, we're working. Um, we'll get a little bit of detail in the, in the sessions. Today, especially, it's quite windy out there, so we won't do a, a, ton of, a ton of talking necessarily, but we'll get you in your spots, get you moving, and, and obviously try to work through the day. And as the week goes, we'll have a little more dialogue prior to training sessions, um, detail some things for you. But um, first things first is getting you guys working, getting you back out on the field and, and getting you together. All right. That's it, my friends. Let's get moving. Welcome, welcome. Yeah. Getting all the guys in one spot's been great. There's always the, the delicate balance of you want guys in a good mental space and to be excited to be out there on the field and be together. And then you want the seriousness and the little bit of bite that comes with playing. And I think more so this year, we have guys that are like holding each other accountable. We want to make sure from day one that uh, we set those standards and we hold ourselves to uh, what we want to look like this year. Pienso que que hemos formado un, un grupo muy bonito eh, con una muy buena base. Eh, estamos construyendo más que todo una familia, que creo que es lo más importante. Y bueno, mi meta personal este año es eh, primero afianzarme como titular de los NFC. Eh, aportarle mucho a mis compañeros para la consecución de los trabajos y los objetivos que, que queremos ser, eh, queremos trazarnos en este año y por supuesto ser campeones. I mean, every team goes in to the new season with a chance to win hardware, to lift trophies. But in order to get there, we have to um, do the little things right every day. So right now, our main focus is on just going into training, making sure the little details are right, and knowing that in the long term, as long as we do the little things right every day, day in, day out, consistent, um, we'll reach our goals by the end of the year. Transition! Go! 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 Go!
What I'm trying is to put in place something that sustains the club and I'm trying to work thinking forward for this club not to only succeed if not to sustain success. To succeed is difficult but it's not as difficult. The most difficult is sustain success. This is the most difficult. All of this takes time. There's a lot of things that go into making a team successful and then sustaining that success. I think we've taken great, um, you know, great experiences since since being here in Austin, and um, we hope to bring those forward again in our in our fourth year. There's been successes. There's been, um, you know, areas to learn from, and and we welcome obviously what 2024 brings.